Hey everyone, welcome into another episode of American Truck Simulator. Hope you guys are doing well today. Let's of course get right into it. See, um, well actually, let's do some garage managing. We could add a couple drivers. Anyone good? Ooh, 4-2. So we're going to hire Sydney. Worth it. He's going to the Albuquerque. He does need a truck. Anything good? Oof. Mac Anthem Day Cab. Western Star. Yeah. So it's going to go here to here. There you go, Sid. Yeah, some of these aren't terrible. 176. Maybe I should buy an international truck. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I will look at getting another person hired here soon. That is a scraper. 90,000 pounds, $79,000. Mm. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Yep, don't worry. My truck is plenty, uh, plenty good at that, or good in that regard. Okay, yeah, so not super far. That Sydney person is going to be super nice, um, strictly for the fact that, um, like, they are a 4.2 already. So the amount of money that he's going to bring in is going to be a good amount. So, worth the money. For sure. Okay. We're full on gas and everything else. So, because how many miles? Or 10 hours? So, let's do a rolling stop here. Because, you know, why not? Um, Pastors and Sons. Alright. Uh, here for a massive, very massive scraper. Gotta get Gallup, New Mexico. Expected between Tuesday at 10.50 and Wednesday at 12.20. Again, $89 a mile. And it's a rush order. 876 miles, 90,000 pounds. So it is a load for sure. Like, definitely going to be a uh, work in progress. I feel like that's really not sitting on there properly, but what do I know? All right. Well, there's someone over there too with a plaster and sons. I think we're going to kind of try and angle this somewhat. Okay. All right. I'm curious just to see what this, how this looks. Yeah. I feel like it's sitting really high and just does not sit up there properly. But hey, you know, who am I to uh, get upset about that? All right, release the parking brake, and we are set to go again. Going to Gallup, New Mexico, Plaster and Sons. Um, place there. 
$79,000. They're again expecting it between Tuesday at 11, basically 11 to 12:20 Wednesday morning. So, but 90,000 pound scraper. Oh, no, I gotta wait. At least it stops really fast. Still, still, this is, this might be the heaviest one I've done. Well, non-specialty cargo. This might be the heaviest one or biggest one that I have, um, I have done. I really would like to... I need to take this turn wide though, so I really cannot afford to um, try and get around this car. Green light both sides. And this would be a wide turn anyways. Sometimes it, it would be fun, you know, with a convoy, of course, you could do, you get to do the same um, load, if you will. But I think it would be really cool is if, um, and now this isn't always the case, but if there was multiple things that they needed, so not just a scraper, but maybe they need some supplies or, you know, just some other things like that, that I think would be really, really cool to kind of deliver numerous goods. Now, again, at the same time, not to say one location would need multiples of different things, so does uh, does make sense in that regard. So again, 878 miles. Miles to go here. Guessing. Yep, okay. I was like, I'm not going to just sit going 30. But I know it's going to take me a little bit to get up to speed. I mean, again, it's 90,000 pounds. This might be the first time I've done a scraper, even. It's probably new with the. Um, uh, when I got the Northwest bundle, I think it came with it. Which is fine, you know, nothing wrong with that. The thing with this, what's kind of unfortunate, if you will, is that um, the. I'm in California for a good portion, so I can't even go that fast. Like, I can go 60, which. Honestly, maybe that's for the best with having a 90,000 pound scraper, but you never know. Anything is possible, really. All right. Guy hauling Pepsi coming up next to me. It would be fun, too, if there was a way to know if it was a higher driver of yours. That would be really cool. I don't really know how you could um, make that distinguish, like how to distinguish that, but yeah, 16 hours to go. So it will definitely be a road trip, but see, this is where it'll be tough because, well, he should get ahead of me, hopefully. I'm kind of surprised because Usually, the computer won't have him go over 55, but he is actually going over 55. Oh. Now it's like it realized. It's like the game was like, oh wait, you should only be going 55. Not 65 or whatever they were going. Oh, look at that, $3,700 from Maximilian. It is nice knowing that my drivers are bringing in more and more um, money leveled up. Love to see that. 
like I said, I wonder what the max amount is. If it's kind of like with my stuff, if they get the same sorts of benefits like I do, or or if it's different. I would be very curious how I get my lights on. I could just, I just had this inkling as Marcus would always give me a hard time for not, uh, not just always having my lights on. Which is fair, as I'm usually pretty guilty at it, so, with doing that, so, makes, um, makes a, makes a big difference. sure I'm not off the off the beaten path. Ooh. I was actually a little bit afraid of that because with having the wide load, I don't know if like with the wheel over like that, if it would have grabbed it and just yanked it and I would have totally wrecked. Um like just wrecked it really okay where are we okay where let's see here I think, what are we, 14 hours, 15 hours? Oh, let's see here. Uh, see, this stinks. Now I've got to get back up. See, I just, I really hate being this close to the walls. Granted, I'm doing okay. I wonder how the, what is that? Oh, marriage is going to be 616. Trying to think where, how, like, how far, how far are we? Um, let's see here.
Oh, look at that, Arthur, give me 4,400 bucks. I should watch what I'm doing. Arthur's leveled up. Good job, Arthur. Well, that Pepsi truck's moving pretty good, actually, at a pretty good pace. Thirteen and a half hours, and I've got what? Basically, we'll say six hours to go to give myself an hour to find a spot. So, so about, mm, I'd say we'll have about seven hours left, which is fine. So, what does that put us at? Five, ten, about twelve thirty, one o'clock in the morning. That will stop. Um, today, and then you have your sleep to like eight, eight in the morning. I mean, we'll still be two, three hours ahead um, of delivery time. I should, well, I wonder how, well, we're still cruising on Highway 99. Gotta love it. Again, so we are going to Gallup, New Mexico, to um, Placer and Sons construction site with this scraper, 90,000 pound scraper that was already at a at the Plaster and Sons shop in Stockton, California. So just working our way now to New Mexico. Of course, it will be nice to try and get back kind of up to Washington, Oregon, Idaho, up that way. Um, I'm hoping to here in the near future, Marcus and I can get a couple more episodes in, um, do another convoy, because they are a lot of fun. Not that I haven't enjoyed the process of doing these by myself, but it is, again, a lot of fun doing them with someone. And that's why, as I mentioned, I have considered just starting to t stream on Twitch just to, you know, do something a little different, if you will. So, but we will see. We'll just have to keep on, uh, keep trying things out. I'm guessing we are, yep, Bakersfield. So we will be turning off here shortly. Oh, which would make sense, because otherwise 99 is taking us just farther and farther down towards, like, San Diego, which, no good for that. This is the nice thing with 90,000 pounds. Doesn't uh, take long uh, to stop. Okay, no one's coming. Oh, they are. Too late now, though. Hey, kudos to that car for stopping as far back as it did. Because, uh, yeah, I needed all of that space, like all of it. Even gas wise, you know, over 1300 miles. So, um, we are doing well. And this is where I can see what they say, like, with the fuel economy skill, where it does help over time. Where, you know, right now it's like 10% better fuel if you will so um, can't be too upset about that here oh, I thought the car was gonna pull out in front of me luckily it did not okay it's 12 hours left again moving 
like traffic wise everything's moving at a pretty good rate of speed like all these cars are just pulled over right now basically one thing that I'm going to try and do Let's see where we kind of get to Trying to see what has the green L oh, right there. Okay, we should get as soon as it gets red. Okay, going for it. Hey, I know the the cars will get past anyways, but I just knew I needed to, um, you know, get uh, kind of get set. Oh, what are these? Almost makes me want to turn off like unhook and then just go discover what these are but one's a dealership so Peter built and then of course the other one is I'm guessing a recruitment agency but it's really really not kind of worth it right now Yep, right there it is. You, you can see it. Okay, I'm trying to see. Do they have a green? That's red. Oh, that's got the green. Like I said, we're just trying to keep it going. All right. That one I did not do as well at. Not at all, really. Okay. Yep, back up to speed. This is, and this is the hard part with, you know, a bigger load like this, where it's just, okay, takes longer to get going. You go from, you know, into town and then trying to get back out of town and just things of that nature. I was like, oh, we're almost 55. Yeah, that's a lie. What are we at 44 out of 55? I mean, by the time we get to the speed limit, it'll have increased. I'm guessing Bakersfield well I'm guessing we'll be on here for a little bit and then we'll hit um, what is it I-80 or I-85 something like that that gets us um, somewhat closer if you will So, uh, so I think anyways. Okay, see, and this is like, again, okay, then you, it's like, man, what are we, what are we doing here? 55. Well, at least I got my lights on, so that's a plus. We are pretty close. Or so I think. Right, are we? Oh, nope. 
Because this guy is just flying past me. Yeah, it would be nice to, you know, give it up to speed. I feel like this last hour has taken quite some time. Rightfully so. Well, hey, look. Now we're up to 55, so... Get ready to set the cruise at 60. Plus, then I will probably pass this guy in front of me. I feel like we're going to go up a hill here soon, so... Only reason I'm doing this is because I feel like I'm going to potentially lose it pretty quick. Maybe not. Not not as much as I thought. Where are we at now? Four hours. So yeah. Like I said, it'll be around seven or so. I would have been surprised if it was um, less than seven. Like, not that it couldn't, but either way, it will just take a little while. Okay, I don't, I don't know why I thought the car was a little closer there. So I did get a wee bit nervous for a brief second. merging here oh we are great don't love to see that and there's construction up ahead here Turning on the four ways, mainly because I'm just trying to keep traffic from hitting me. Like, obviously, I think these two cars just did. I'm guessing if they had the four ways on. Yeah, see, I don't like this one. Well, then you got three semis, so that doesn't help. Yeah, look at the traffic just getting backed up. Cause it, it just takes so long because of these semis. It's like one semi just got through right there. Honestly, I'm only going this slow because there's just no point. Yeah, this this um, the tanker behind me is just like come on, but it's like there's really no, really no reason to try and get super high, uh, like high up in the gear or anything of that nature because, frankly, not much, uh, not much I can do about it. I'm honest though, I'm kind of tempted as soon as that sucker turns green to uh, like pull into the next lane. Oh, must have hooked them. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thank you for letting me go through. I wonder, I doubt, I doubt this time I went through. Oh, he did. That's hilarious. I think he did, right? Yep. All right. 
So now, for sure, over seven. So three, ten, yeah. It'll be over seven hours. Unless I can somehow get this to go, um, like, super, super quick, but I doubt it. 